And we're back. Beautiful. Back into the next game. A little bit of a change of schedule. We're going to be seeing Ashen Valkyrie again taking on Macro Gaming, the 2-0 team from yesterday. Yeah. An exciting matchup and a tough pull for Valkyrie. Absolutely. Whoa. The reigning champ, seeing if they can just hold that leech. Reigning champs? We've yeah. only seen two games. Well, giving them that title already? Well, of last week. Of yesterday, I mean. All right, going into champion select already, nice and smooth. Got once again, we do not have names updated. God forbid we do any planning between scenes, but don't worry, we'll be getting that fixed when it should have been fixed five minutes ago. We're gonna be right on that for you, no problem. First band coming in on the side of Ash and Valkyrie, it will be that Camille followed by a Galio band on the side of Macro. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like that Galio band. I mean, he's just so unique in terms of the cc the roaming you can go support you can go mid i think it's a solid band for sure for sure all right we will see what picks are coming up next and the second band taking a long time for this going to be that olaf, olaf very yeah. strong pick in all forms of the game very strong early and a very good jungle pick to get out of there yeah and what i'm looking for here is i want to see yelian 1v9 i mean he got talked up pretty big and he did a good yeah, job for last sure, game. For sure. Was a bright spot in Valkyrie's loss. We'll see if he's able to be put on another power pick. And maybe he'll have the tools this time to carry. Yeah, and the Hecarim banned out. I mean, pretty much 100% ban rate at here. Just so dominant in terms of the roaming. His movement is incredible. He can go from lane to lane. He's got the CC, and he's just so powerful right now. And the final ban on Valkyrie's side being the Lulu. The Lulu, a very interesting pick. I'm not sure if they've been watching their scrims or whatnot, but if they're trying to... Per prevent against hyper carry comps like that vein from before but interesting band yeah. coming in with the lulu and we'll see if that changes fight. anything Mel macro game was planning on doing and a nice safe top layer band away on the side of macro gaming and we'll see what valkyrie does with that first pick on the blue side yeah i think first pick you're gonna see maybe a support pick just to take it away from benji and we might end up with a volley bear Pick. Yes. Their pick. Yeah, that is a very, very strong pick. Very instant NAR. A lot of comps and then a NAR. Ooh, that's a tough draw for the Vala Bear if NAR can play from range. Vala Bear is going to have a tough time getting on top of him. Has the Q to speed him up, but that NAR Q is going to slow him right back down. It's going to be really hard for the Vala Bear to get on him. Oh, and are we going to see the flame pop? Udyr coming out of the jungle. Please, oh please. Oh, and last minute switch. Not to the, the middle. Italy. A much better pickup. Would have loved to see the Udyr, but we're not taking any chances in this league so no. gonna see the nar and the nidalee really strong gank combination and a really strong combination we saw last game we had macro gaming play mm -hmm. yeah i mean the spear damage when it hits it's it's powerful mm -hmm. uh it's pretty oh Ooh, the, the shen, early shen, right the early shen not shen banned and picked pick up, up. And it looks like we're going to be swapping that Vala Bear into the jungle. A good flex on the side of Ash and Valkyrie. And getting that Shen in the top lane might be a little bit more of a problem against that Nar. Yeah, I'm seriously liking that we see a Shen finally in here. Don't know what happened if they were Ooh. concentrating on some picks, but he got left open. Really, really liking the Lucian pickup on the side of Valkyrie. Going to have the Shen coming in on top. we be able to kite around fights and be dishing out the damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, last pickup coming in, and oh, oh my god, that champion's so new, I don't even remember its name right now. Vigo? 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 What? Something, uh, Something along pronounced. those lines, however but no chance we're going to see that now, in an actual match. So we'll see in, in comes the Alistair, a very solid support. No AD picked up, expect to see a bunch of AD bands on the side of Valkyrie, but really strong picks up, pick up so far, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, a strong front line. Great engage coming out for Macro Gaming, and it's looking like that's just where we're going to kind of see it all. And the nice Morgana ban, just to take it away. Just... All right. Ooh. Ooh, the Kiana ban. Well, when your name has Kiana in it, you got to imagine that Kiana ban is coming. Oh, yeah. All right. And the Jin ban on the side of macro Jin gaming ban. So, so i wonder if they think they're, leaning, they're, prob mid. they're probably thinking lucian mid which is yep. definitely a prominent pick right now and definitely a possibility 
Oh, and an that MF fortune, pan. Man, yeah. We still have that vein that we saw Bertolt Hoover pull out yesterday. We are going to see what he's going to pick up or if they're just going to pick up the mid lane here. I got to imagine, though, they're picking up AD. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know. This could really, we'll see what. With that Lucian here. possibly being a flex, and it looks like, oh, 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 wow. the Samira pick. Yeah. The Alistair Samira, a great combo. The damage coming in with the Gnar on top. Nidalee damage, and that team is looking to fight and looking to fight often. A great pickup mm -hmm. by Bertolt Hoover. We'll see what his mastery on that champion is. Oh, we got the Realm oh. pickup coming in for the bot lane. Very interesting. I like it. I think that's here. actually a solid pick if they roll with that, just in the engage yeah, alone. Right. And, and now we're going to see, is that Lucian rolling mid, or are we going to see an AD pick here? What are we going to come out with? I think it's going to be a, a mid laner pick here. I want to say the Lucian's going in the bot lane, but you can never be sure. Never be sure. We will see six seconds coming in on that pick who will it be lucian bot lucian mid we're about to find out and it looks like going down to the wire here what is happening wow. the mordekaiser pickup what is going on here wow. I... looks like mordekaiser mid is that what i'm seeing here i, I mean i like it you take the mordekaiser Lord. and you can just isolate somebody in the map and the it's a Yumi, so obviously it's not, to throw us off a little bit I don't here. think we're seeing Yumi this game. You know, you gotta game, have a little bit of fun with it sometimes. You gotta consider the possibility of that Mordekaiser being the bot laner with the Rel. Oh, and the, the Yone coming in. I like this team is stacked, looking to fight, looking to slash, looking to dash. And we are going to see a bloodbath on this rift. And it yeah. does look to be the... The Mordekaiser going mid, pretty standard. Lucian mm -hmm. going bot with the Rel. Volibear in the jungle. Shen on the top on the start of macro game. We got Nar in the top. Nidalee in the jungle. Yon in the mid lane. Samira and Alistair bot. So, whew. Yeah. Both teams. A lot of agency to do a lot of things. A little more map pressure on the side of Valkyrie, but a lot of damage coming out of macro gaming. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is the name of the game is who engages first. That's really kind of all it comes down to. I mean, I, I think it's going to be pretty fun if we get a perfect Mortal that takes away either the Nar engage or the mm. Yon engage. Uh, but you never know. I mean, it's great if someone ends up ahead on macro gaming, you can just take one for it's the It's going to be really isolated. interesting to see how Yon's E interacts with Mordekaiser. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Uh, I'm assuming it wouldn't take it out of the ult, but it's definitely something we're going to have to keep an eye on. I don't know. All right, tuning in to this next game, Ash and Valkyrie taking on Macro Gaming. We're going to see which team is going to come out on top. All of that aggro damage coming out on the side of Macro versus a very solid, lot of CC team coming out from the side of Valkyrie. Let's see how these teams clash. Let's see what the result's going to be. Yeah, I, I mean, an, an interesting game we got here. Uh, I like to see the Shen plays coming out of here. I think there's going to be a couple close calls where he ends up just alting in, and it puts a stop to something. For sure, for sure. All right, pretty <laughs> standard starts, and it looks like two people on the side of Macro or AFK reconnected. Interesting. Hopefully, they're not having any connection difficulties we don't want to see that but looks like a very standard positioning for valkyrie just going for a five point defense not a lot of looks like a five point defense on both sides not a lot going on and we will apologize for any audio issues we may have just experienced uh don't worry they are fixed and will, will not happen again and when it does happen again it's not my fault uh technically in your contract that is well, that's why you never sign a contract without reading it. All right, not a lot going on up here. Looks like Nilly's going to be starting out on that top side with the Alistair Samira. Not too surprised to see her wanting to path down towards that bot lane. And it looks like Volbear going to be starting out on the red side. Looking to path up to that top lane and two very different starts. And we're going to see where the points of contention are. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if it's just do your red buff, go straight to the enemy blue buff. Uh, it's possible. Definitely possible. 
So let's see what we got here. Looks like bot lane on the red side is going to have a little bit of an advantage on that push. But it doesn't look like it will matter. A pretty standard start on all lanes. How do you feel about that top lane matchup, Chase? We got the Gnar versus the Shen. Wallaby would have had a little bit more trouble, but I feel like Shen might be able to hold its ground. Yeah, I mean, Shen is just such a good champion, even in counter matchups and everything. He's able to always find a way to do a damage or stay in lane or anything along those lines. So I, that's why I love seeing Shen pick. And Shen is going to be Havoc or Macro Gaming in that mid game, getting that level six, getting those ultimates off, affecting bot lane play. Always going to be a little bit of an advantage. But in bot lane, looks like they're already getting the damage out. Got the early level two. Going on to the rel. Just not enough damage to finish it off. That's going to be heal and ignite burned on the side of macro for just the exhaust out of rel. A pretty good trade off coming out on the side of Valkyrie. And Nar is looking to enforce his dominance again in the top lane. Had a rocky showing early last game he played, but ended up being a huge force in that game later. And it looks like oh, he, might be, he might be up to his old tricks. Ball Bear sidesteps the east, ready the second bounce. Nars gonna have to commit his flash. Wow, the earlier. damage Hold. alone on Volley Bear is able to Hold just solo the Nar out. I, oh. I mean, I th I don't think he was even expecting that. He no, still has flash. I, he didn't, he held on to it. He said, I think at that point, if you're the Nar, you know that if you flash, you're just gonna get followed by the Volley Bear, and you're dying either way. May as well hold on to that flash, so the repeat ganks are a little bit more difficult. Difficult, but yeah, there it is. The Nar. We expected that Volley Bear to be going for an early game top, and sure enough, and Volley Bear is looking to repeat already. And Nar is not going to expect coming in from this angle. Can wow. Nar get out in time? He has the minion wave. What path will Volley Bear take to complete this game? Here going around goes. power He's side. That's right going to here. cut off one of Nar's escape routes, but Nar. Can he just walk it out? We will never know because the camera is in the wrong spot. Pot into the bot lane. Nar, the flash committed by the Shen. Flash gone from the Nar. Flash gone from the Volibear. That is an advantage going towards the Nar. A lot of towers dying to the turret from Shen. Three gang and, ba, and the simple Lucian nothing, dash just puts an end to that. Nothing happens there. Nar... Not looking too bad after that last gank, but there is definitely a concerted effort to put pressure on this Nar early, trying to keep Shen in the game. And on the opposite story for Macro Gaming, looking to put pressure on the bot side, get that Samira fed, and look to get her pentakills this game. No, I mean, I like what Macro Gaming did. They saw the repeat game top. I mean, it puts Nidalee ahead. They start saying, let's take away some of his camps from Volley Bear. Uh, and it gives them a nice advantage to start this game off. Definitely, definitely. It's going to be really interesting to see how Volibear takes that early kill. Let's see if he can snowball can snowball that lead for his team. Not too many other opportunities for ganks in this game. There's a pretty good setup mid for the Mordekaiser onto that Yon with the Volibear. They may be looking there. But Yon going in for some damage, not having a fun time against that Mordekaiser. Shields coming in from that Mord, and the damage is too much. No, I mean, Mord is just... Ooh. Pot. One of those champions, he's just great. He's great in, in every aspect of the games in terms of damage, sustain, tankiness. He just can do it all, and I think it's an excellent pick coming out of Valkyrie. For sure, for sure. All right, top lane looks to be a fairly even matchup at the moment. We've got both flashes. Oh, put them right on the tower. The but the rounds are so tanky. This gets out of there with ease. They're not done yet. They want to keep going, but Volibear Bear is here. Alistair is in the wrong position, and Alistair Beautiful. is going down. A kill onto the Lucian. Good counter gank by the Volibear. Bear. Sneaking in through the river and giving his team a greater advantage. Yeah, this Volley Bear is just straight on fire in my book right now. Uh, he just knows the map. He knows the gameplay, and he just keeps rolling with all stuff, giving his team a nice little advantage. Mm -hmm. Yon looking to trade in the mid lane. Feels he's a bit stronger or maybe just relying on that E to get out. Still doesn't have the better form of that trade against the No, Mordekaiser. I mean, I think he, he his plan here is just to back. So try to cue a little damage. Maybe keep Mord in lane so he's hurt some more and, and engage when he comes back. Ooh, but top we'll lane. 
seeing the dive onto the Shen. And Shen's one of those champions that can easily turn around a dive. They think better of it, decide not to force the issue, and Nidalee will just go back to clearing her camps. But already a CS advantage showing for that Gnar, really flexing his muscles and trying to bully this Shen out of lane. Oh, oh the oh, ultimate by the knock into the W, and it's going to be enough, just not enough. One auto. Oh, oh just barely. Oh, he oh, it, and no. doesn't have the flash to follow through. Couldn't quite get the long that enough That is a tilting moment for the Nar. I mean, you have such good plays. You know the tower range. You know what you can get away with. But just the 5 HP from Ooh. the Shen stays alive. A good timer for this Nar, though, to back. Nar's going to look to actually stay for a little bit longer and push them to dirt. But we got a fight in the mid lane here. Shen coming in to back up his mid laner. Doesn't seem to and matter. And this is going to be Alistair getting a little in coming out. trouble for the Alistar ah. here. He's going down. I mean, nothing you can do. He gets abandoned by his team. His team really can't do much anyways. Most definitely. All right. A good play by that Shen with good awareness. Good call out to get that ultimate in there. And eventually it led to a kill. Alistair, two deaths so far. Not really having the same showing he had last game. But we'll see if he can pull it around. Yeah, I mean, you hope so. He's, he's got the level disadvantage here. I mean, you saw that last fight. He's level four. Not Ooh, easy to come back. Yohon getting the damage on to the Mordekaiser, committing the ignite. Not quite enough to finish him off. Is going to shove this wave in, maybe force the TP out of the Mordekaiser. And Mordekaiser a little greedy on that back, but it doesn't look like Yohon has the vision for him. And an and a nice drag dragon pick, going in on the side of... Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. Looks like Valkyrie is in the driver's seat for this game. Already up a K gold, not even 10 minutes into the game. Dragon advantage. All lanes doing well. Top lane, a little bit suspect, but honestly, if I'm in Valkyrie's position, looking pretty darn good. Yeah, I'd say keep these picks up with Volley Bear. Just keep getting this stuff. They're not suspecting it. They can't stop it right now. No, Just keep rolling with it. Right. Nar in the top lane looking to put more poke on to that Shen. Ooh, Shen getting the nice trade back trade. on. Those little trades by the Shen using his W. Nar can't do anything if he can't auto attack. That is for sure. That's right. And, you know, you get a fun little bit of five maximum HP there with your, your grass. So it's always nice to see that. For sure. For sure. All right, a little bit of pressure going in on that bot lane. Doesn't appear to amount to much. Got nothing really to play for on the map. Dragging down for another almost four minutes on that. And are looking to almost freeze the wave on this side. Possibly get some pressure onto the Shen. Shen looking to clear that vision. He's going to get walked out of the lane. Going to have to take a long way back to... The wave might miss some minions. Doesn't look to be too bad for him. And looks like they're setting up for a play bot here. Now, they do have the vision to combat this. So we are going to see if it leads to anything. Nidalee thinks better of it. Goes back. Walks to the river. Looks mid. Will she pick up the ward in the river? Doesn't look like it. Going to be spotted out for this gang. Mordecai just has to play back. Not going to play up and get caught. Looks like we'll be fine. Yeah, and that's the thing I love about Mordekaiser, right? You can overextend kind of a little bit. All of a sudden, you're, someone comes out from the bushes. You're getting ganked. Hey, guess what? I just ulted you. I'm going to ult v one right now. And if you ever win that 1v1 with Mord, you're coming out on top. The other person's getting pretty scared, and they're either running away or they're picking you off if you're low HP. It's going to be very interesting to see who comes out better in a 1v1 of the Yon and the Mordekaiser. Yon looking still to take those trades in the mid lane. And a decent amount of damage going in. There's Pulls him into the finally. death realm. Going to be really interesting to see Ooh. if Yon can get out. Looks like Mordekaiser thought better of it. That is Mordekaiser ult expended. and But for a lot of HP on to the Yon. Yeah, and a good back away. I mean, he realizes that Yon's pulling over to his side. He's just saying, listen, I'm not going to risk it. I don't know where everybody else is. I'm just gonna chill out. Oh, and a piece of amount of damage going on to the Mordekaiser from the Nidalee. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough here. But Yon's coming back <laughs> in. Volibear coming wow. in from the side. Shen over the top. And Yon may not be long for this world. Fall with the Nidalee. Both are going Easy. to go. Two down. kills. Wow. 
I mean, that is excellent. Oh, and can they turn around in the bot lane? It looks Lucian like they're going survived. to get more kills in the bot as well. Four kills going over across the map for the side. Oh, and a return to by the finally. Alistair. Instead of being a four for oh, Alistair turns it into a three for one. Good play by the Alistair, but all around, not the best situation. Look at this. Action, action, action. This is what I love to see Crazy. right here. Crazy. Amazing. Nar 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 is not going to be able to get out of this one. Volvo's going to chase him down. That E damage oh with the snipe. Nar is gone. Incredible. The damage from this Volley Bear is just insane right now. I mean, his map presence is known. It's known. I mean, even ganking the Mordecai's, you saw that. And literally has to flash away thinking that they has it. Unreal. Unreal action going on in the early game. Seriously, and I like it. It's kind of a little bit of a change of pace from what we've been seeing from the previous games. Uh, they've just been rolling with it, rolling with it, rolling with it. We've normally seen, all right, I got a couple kills. Let's kind of play it safe. We got the lead if in case a team fight comes. But not Valkyrie. Valkyrie says, we got the lead. Let's keep this lead. Let's keep pushing and extending this lead. And that Volibear looking absolutely massive right now. 4-0-1. Making all the plays early game. Always in the right place at the right time. And got Macro Gaming on their heels. Going to be really interesting to see where he can take it from here. All yeah. lanes at a slight disadvantage. Yeah, and I think, you know, the, the kill... From the Alistar kind of saves a little bit of tilt because you put your team on the board. That Al uh, that Lucian was surviving with less than probably 50 HP for like three separate times down there before he finally went down. So nice pickup. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really interesting to see if Samira and Yon can get back into the game. Because those are two massive, massive points of power for macro gaming. It's going to be really interesting to see if there's enough there. Volibear looking for the gank on the bot again. Looks like he is going to have it. Samira, not long for this world, going oh, down. And beautiful. And this Volibear, I mean, play after play after play. Bad going to worse on the side of Macro Gaming. You really hate to see it. Rift Herald pop down, going to also lead into the Drake. And a strong showing so far from Valkyrie. Wants to get that last game the taste of that last game out of their mouth and move on to this game and they are ready to feast. It's going to be a nice dragon. little dragon oh, pickup damn. right there. And we'll just get a quick reset from really both teams in the scenario late right here. But Valkyrie coming out big. Definitely going out with the guns swinging so far. Volibear 4 0 and 2 now. Lucian 2 1 and 1. Rel is 1 0 and 3. Everyone getting a piece of this pie right now. No one's going hungry. And going to be really interesting to see where Macro Gaming can look to get their advantages back into it. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, your advantage relies on, I'd say, two ultimates here the Nar all and the Yon all. If you can get some big plays off that, then you're in for some work. But. Nidalee, uh, when you're behind, you're behind, and you seriously feel it. That champion relies off a snowball, off a level 2, or a quick gank to kind of get that extra power in there. So if spears start doing damage, you can poke them all down, but not what we've seen so far. Definitely, definitely. Looks like we're going to see an early swap of lanes. Bot lane looking to put pressure on that top turret. Jones going to have to use that ultimate to get Yeah, out. I mean, seriously... The thought of just 1v1ing that Volley Bear caused you to instantly ult out. That's when you know you have some power on the map. Most definitely. That Volley Bear is looking to snowball his lead. Gnar, a little yeah. over aggressive. The Not, tilt might be setting in a little early. Yeah, for that I mean, he was given an ultimatum there, right? He knows they're setting up for a dive. He says, listen, I'm going to do my best. I'm oh, try and to get Samira that is not yeah, gonna be having any fun all of bear one step ahead they have the shed alistair you're not where you want to be gets the flash out gonna get out but at what cost a 10 one kill advantage and 5k gold going on the side of ash and valkyrie alistair into the steel cage going for a brawl does mordekaiser even have the damage doesn't matter Alistair going to go, go down, down and did 
I mean, they're doing what they can. Oh, they pick up the Mordekaiser. The Mordekaiser, literally continuing to chase with the Nar. Do they have enough? The Rel going. The Mega Nar coming out here. Oh, you going up, and this might be the fight Macro Gaming was looking for the whole time. That absolutely is the fight that Macro Game was looking for. I mean, they held on, and are they Looks gonna like, be able to? Looks like Rel is gonna get out. Oh, and survives with a sliver of HP. Ooh, but at the end of the day, a really good turnaround by Macro Gaming, taking a bad situation and making the best of it. Yeah, no, I mean, that's the fight like right there, and we're getting another. Oh my goodness. Uh, way too over aggressive by the NAR again, wanting to get it all back in one play, pushing the envelope, and it's gonna end up costing him. Good play by the Lucian to kite that out. Yeah, I mean, right idea, but I, I mean, the Lucian, he's he's got four kills at this point. It's kind of hard to take him down. I mean, I still think the last fight from Macro Gaming, it gives you a little bit of a motivation saying here, listen, you know, we won a fight. It was pretty good. We And let's kind of take that. Let's kind of force it in here. The confined spaces like that when you're in the jungle is really where Macro Gaming is going to excel when Valkyrie doesn't have really any space to move around. No, for sure. For sure. It's nice really, little smite. Really interesting to see what Macro Gaming does. Vision getting choked out. Dragons already a two dragon deficit with full control on the side of Valkyrie for the next dragon coming up in just a minute. Can Macro find a little bit of overaggression on Valkyrie and capitalize on it again? I can't imagine Valkyrie makes the same mistake twice. No, and I mean you notice the gold lead just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it's hard to stop these. I'd say it's hard to stop this Lucian and the volley bear alone. Ooh. Massive goldie by that Volibear. Bear. 1,500 gold on that mid lane. Another 500. A massive goldie in that bot side. A huge difference maker in this game. And a big reason why they're in the position they are. The Samira Alistair not proving to be the strongest pick in this situation. And with full vision control of the bot side, they are going to look to just move their pressure right into this dragon. And I don't know if Macro is going to have pressure. Meganar just expiring now. Will not be available for this next fight if they choose to fight on the dragon immediately. A very questionable play by the Nar to pop his Mega so early. Not as punching as it used to be, but I don't know if he'll be able to build up that rage bar in time. Yeah, and just Rel and Mordekaiser are able to zone off five people here. Kind of amazing that Macro Gaming is just letting that happen. Yeah, no one wants to get pulled into the Steel Cage Deathmatch by the Mordekaiser. No, they don't. And if I'm Macro Gaming, I say, listen, Lucian's huge. We're going to try to get a pick off him. But uh, I almost guarantee they're going to forget the Shen ult that's right. coming on that Lucian to give him some survivability. Definitely not out of the game yet if you're macro gaming, but you definitely have to play near perfect. Can't get caught, can't get too aggressive. You have to get take what Valkyrie gives you. And if Valkyrie doesn't give them anything, they may not have a dog left in this fight. No, I mean, right? Still could be anybody's game. It's definitely a great start, but I think that last fight kind of proved that macro gaming has something there. Most definitely, most definitely, but it's going to be very interesting to see if they can get any advantages anywhere. They're going to have to rely on this Nar and the Yone on the split pushes, see if they can pull that team apart, prevent the 5v5 fights, and maybe get some one-on-one -on -one advantages. Looks like, will the Yon just complete this recall? Doesn't look like he wants any part of that Mordekaiser. And if I were him, I wouldn't either. No, nobody does. The guy. Nar, fearless as ever, going in for a fight on that bot lane. Doesn't look like it's going to amount to too much. Shen dodging that Q, getting used to his patterns. And nothing going on down there. Full, full vision control on the side of Valkyrie, clearing out every spec on the map. A really, really good showing by Valkyrie so far. Really, I mean, Valkyrie, they know their limits. They're they're able to take control of the jungle. They're able to take control of top lane, forcing Macro Gaming to just walk around saying, listen, we got to wait for something. When is this going to happen? Definitely, definitely. All right. 
Looks like they are just continuing to push their advantage every lane, getting shoved in. When it spawns, just trying to keep the pressure, keeping the minions toward their tower so they can't push up their vision line. Really smart play by Valky, keeping the pressure on. And with Baron on the map, they could choose to rotate to that at any time and force the hand of Macro. Yeah, but do we see a Baron before the dragon? That's the big question that I'm wanting to know here. I'd say, well, this might lead to something here. See the Nar on the chase the down. Nar. And with Nar, those chase downs never ever and another speed up it'll be enough the flash has to come out to dodge the w and that's no flash on chen gonna be a little bit of power taken away Look from him but this. this will be an opportunity a two for man Valkyrie. baron two man baron and that is enough they have they don't expect anything oh and it looks like the middle taking it by the mordekaiser baron going to go over on top of it Yon trying to salvage. Does he have enough? Oh Doesn't look like it's goodness. Amira going in. And it is too little, the too damage. late. Everyone gonna go down here. Fear goes the Nar. Alistair yeah. scurries on out of there like the rat he is. But it doesn't matter. This game is close to ending. No, and that whole play that we're kind of seeing here from Valkyrie was pretty much just as good as the RB Super Melt I had earlier today. Oh, that thing was as delicious as it was disgusting. Amen. Amen. And it looks like this game is not going to be going on for much longer. Free mid lane inhibitor. Can't imagine they're going for the turrets yet, but they're going to snowball this right into the top lane inhibitor. And if you're macro gaming, you're looking for any opportunity. A 10k disadvantage down. What is that? 12 kills. 6 to 0 oh on the towers. There is no avenue left if you're macro gaming. And looking like it's going to be their first loss of the split. Now, you got to give them credit. They're the only team so far to have to play three games and you're getting a little tired by that third one, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You know, the luck has just <laughs> run out. Yeah. I'm actually getting confirmation right now that Little known fact on Macro Gaming, three of the players are actually related. No. Yeah. So, really hope it doesn't cause any discourse within the family after this game. No, I mean... Pensions might run high. Exactly. Seriously, I mean, you spend a little more extra time in the bathroom so the yep. other one can't get in the shower and they miss their job interview. Oh, I know. That's the worst situation imaginable. And you know what they say. Nothing's more serious in the world than League of Legends. But hold that thought. We got Nar getting ransacked along with that tower. Destroyed by the Lucian, by the Mordekaiser. Bala Bear coming in from Narnia. Going in onto that Nar. Thinks better of it, but that engaged by the Bala Bear with his mythic item. Good lord. Anyone try to escape that, I dare you. You can't. I, you know, it's one of those champions. You love seeing it on him and Ramus. It's just oh, so great. Alistair oh, Alistair. Oh, my lord. Trying to engage. A huge is ultimate. It's not for Scrap to the Shed. Why? Why? I wanted to see the fight, please. But it might be too little too late. The Nar Massive. Oh, all the damage is gone. Not enough. A oh, great engage by Macro, oh, but the man. gold will tell the story. That is not going to be enough. Yon, just a few more hits to being killed, and it, he will go down. Finished. That uh -huh. will be the game. They're going to pick up that mid lane wave, pick up the bot lane wave, crash that into the Nexus, and it looks like Valkyrie is going to get on the scoreboard. Yeah, and you've got to think to yourself, how do you survive that? I mean, all after all after all just came your way. They were in a small little area. They got hit by everything, and they just, they lived. I know. It, oh, really, really tough game coming out of Macro. Coupled with bad decisions, just snowballed. And honestly, surprising they can't finish the game here. Just getting enough people off the side of Valkyrie, so they didn't have the firepower to end that game. I thought for sure it was over, but... Yeah, like I thought gonna so too, but the death, the death timers kind of saved them on that. They, you know, they probably could have won the back-to-back -back fight, but, you know, might as well play it safe. Just pick up on the soul that, here. No, yeah, that is going to be Winsoul going over to the side of Valkyrie and just... <laughs> We'll add more fuel to the fire because this thing is amazing. Uh, seriously, right now. I mean, what do you think? Think uh, the game goes long enough to see our first Elder Dragon, or is this one going to be done beforehand? Uh, it's, we're not going to see an Elder this game. This game doesn't last six more minutes. It's going to be, they're just going to group up on that top lane turret, slowly siege it out. 
and there's just nothing that macro can do to solve it you saw right there they got a perfect layered engage there just didn't have the damage didn't have the gold didn't have the items to counteract it and it it basically shows you Valkyrie could just play with their food right now, yeah. whatever they want. I know it is. It is kind of silly. They're you know they're just letting them do whatever. I mean they'll get mm -hmm. some farm with the inhib pushed in, but is it going to be enough? I just don't think so. It is a tough one to call, but I have to say at the end of the day, it is going to look like more of the same. If Macro can pull this off, we are going to easily have the best game of the. Oh my God! Goodness, a into beautiful mortal. Oh, Absolutely Samira, amazing. Down. You can't fault Macro for looking for the play, but it is too little, too late. Alistair going in there, popping his ult, doing absolutely nothing. But we, they're trying their best, but their best was never enough. Not for their parents, not for this game. No, and that's just the push down, push down, push down. And there's going to be the end of the game here. 25 now, kills. 25 By kills Valkyrie. to 6 in 27 minutes, almost a kill a minute, 26 kills, one kill away from a kill a minute. What a showing by Ashen Valkyrie, and my word, we thought Macro would be one of the front runners, but we might be seeing something different here. No, so, uh, I think those early Volley Bear gangs kind of swept them off their feet. They they never just got back into the game. It kept seven one and ten on that Volley Bear. One one and sixteen on that Shen. Seven one and four on the Mordecai. Nine two and seven on the Lucian. And two one and thirteen on the Rel. No one dying more than twice on that team. What an impressive showing out of Valkyrie. Seriously, I mean Valkyrie. They found their spot. Uh, I would love to see if they keep something like that up, if this is just going to be the dominant face of the league here, or they just had an excellent game. All right. We are going to be kicking it over to a short little break after that one. But we, Oh, we already had the interview queued oh, up immediately. We are going to be going into that interview in just a moment. And who do we have it with today? Who's the who's the lucky winner? Uh, all right, Zach. What? Adam. Adam. Yes. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Who were you playing that last nice game? I was the Mordekaiser. You were oh, the Mordekaiser. Like nice yeah. play going on there. A really strong showing from your team, bouncing back from the first one. What'd you guys do to turn that one around? I mean, we just got hybrid diffed. Like, our, our jungle decided to win the game. Yeah. Hey, did he ever? That guy was all over the place. That Volibear was looking fierce. Yeah, yeah he, he really was. I mean, you had some excellent plays here. Just straight dominance coming out of you. I mean, there's a couple times I mean, where Nidalee came to gank you, and Jin is just flashing out. Couldn't do it. No, but when you have yeah, that I kind of advantage... I mean, I was just reading my abilities and then pressing them on them, and then I was winning because I'm Mordekaiser, I guess. There you go. Not Sometimes that. it's just that simple. Winning in the champion select, snowballing with that Volibear. All right. Who, and you would say that's who you give the MVP to this game is your Volibear hybrid? No, I, I think our, our Rel really carried the draft. Like, without the Rel, we wouldn't have that, like, outstanding team comp to win All the game. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You, you guys could do everything. Yeah. You had Engage, you had Peel, you had the global pressure by the Shen. Every lane coming out on top. And a much better showing from the first one, wouldn't you say? No, I think you guys did absolutely excellent. I mean, there wasn't really anything you could even, you know, take yeah. away. Uh, you guys just, just a one dumb. <laughs> Almost, almost yeah. a kill a minute. 27 minute game and 26 kills you don't see that too often what do you have to say about that i mean it's just get used to it i guess it's gonna happen Ooh, a bunch more now. i like that. that is the kind of attitude we love seeing in the sls that confidence and we are looking forward to seeing that in your upcoming games all right well Anything else to add, Chase, before we cut this one off? I mean, I just think you guys did an excellent job, and I really do hope to see, you know, some more great gameplay from you. Uh, we'll see what other champions you guys get out, because you know that Mordekaiser is going to be banned from you from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My yep. Mordekaiser is pretty crazy, I guess. Yep, yeah, but... so I'm excited to see what you got for us when we see you next. Yeah, all right. You keep slaying. You keep dominating out there, and we're going to see you soon. 
I can imagine in another interview. So great job. And we are going to slowly wrap this one up. Thank you for joining us and good luck on the next one. And congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. See ya. See ya. All right. Well, wow. Crazy games coming out today. A little bit slow in the first one, but it was pedal to the metal in the second in one the, and a one-sided stomp. Yeah, I mean, a one-sided stomp from a team that we saw 2-0 yesterday. So, I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, no one's immune in this league. For sure, for sure. Macro looking to come out as the front runner, but Valkyrie said, hold on, not so fast. Let's try this game. And we they just brought the steamroller out and just kept going forward. Yeah. Flattening that team. Absolutely. Every single avenue, every advantage Macro thought they could get. Gone. Destroyed. Stripped away. Nothing from left. Them. I mean, moral of the story, don't let them get Volibear and don't let them get Mordekaiser. Don't let them get Rel. Don't let them get Lucian. And They're going to run out of bands, my guy. I know. I know. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the first week of the SLS. It's only going to get better from here. We're going to see you guys next Thursday, 8 p.m. Make sure to hit that follow button. Make sure to hit that notification button, and we will see you guys soon. And as always, the first pentacle of the league, Pat will shave his head.